Hi everyone, welcome to another video from eLearning Portal. In today's video, I will take you through the steps of adding parent access to your Moodle site. This means that parents of students will have access to their grades and activities in Moodle. This role can also apply for tutors or mentors. Firstly, I will show you how to create a parent role with specific capabilities. Secondly, I will show you how to assign a parent to a student. And thirdly, I will show you how to add a mentees block. A mentees block provides mentors or parents with quick access to their child or their student's profile. Finally, I will show you how parents can see their child's activities. So let me show you how this is done in Moodle. So our first step is to create a parent role. So let's go to Site Administration. Then click on Users and under Permission, let's click on Define Roles. Here we can add a new role by clicking on Add New Role. So for Use Role or Archetype, let's leave it on No Role and let's leave this blank as well for the preset. Let's click on Continue. And now we need to give it a short name. So let's call this Parent. We can even call it Guardian or Mentor or even Tutor. Okay, the full name, we can give it the same name by copying and pasting it there and then add a description for this. Then under Role Archetype, let's leave it on None. Now we need to choose the context type where this role may be assigned and let's choose user. Okay, so let's scroll down and now we can add capabilities to the parent role. Okay, so for this parent role, we need to add capabilities. So we need to allow or give permission uh, to the parent to view the user's profile. So in the filter box, type in Moodle forward slash user and now these capabilities will pop up and we need to choose what we want to allow the parent role to have access to so let's scroll down under user and look for user view all details okay so if you look this is messaging this is user profile this is allowing uh, you to view the blogs or the forum posts or you can see here user view all details. Okay, so let's allow this. Then we also want the parent to see the activity report. Okay, so let's allow this as well. But we also want the parent to see the user's profile. Okay, so under courses, you'll see view user's profile and we allow that. And also um, view hidden details. You can also allow that. Okay. You can also allow the parent to edit the, uh, the child's profile by clicking on allow next to user edit profile in case the contact number is incorrect or the email address is incorrect uh, the parent can change or modify that details okay you can also allow the parents to see the blog entries or the forum posts okay we also want parents to accept the policy uh, privacy policy on our site, especially when we have uh, minors uh, that are enrolled in certain courses on our website. Okay, so for that, we'll type in tool forward slash policy. You'll see we have various options here, and we'll choose the first one 
for the parents to uh, accept the policy statement or the privacy policy on our website so we'll click on allow okay once that is done let's click on create this role and here we have a breakdown of the parent role by removing this from the filter you'll see what the parent can do on the platform okay in our next step we'll be assigning the parent to the student so let me show you how this is done first let's go to site administration again under users accounts next to accounts click on browse list of users and here's all my users now i need to determine where the child is so let's make andy the child so let's click on his profile so this is andy okay now scroll down and under administration click on preferences in the roles box or window click on assign roles relative to this user you'll see here the parent guardian mentor or tutor role is currently available so let's click on that and now you need to select the parent that we need to link to andy okay so we'll select james doe here and click on add so now we've linked james to andy okay so andy becomes the, the the child and james is the parent for our next step i'll show you how to add a mentee's block on our front page or home page okay so let's go back to site administration now for this we need to turn editing on so let's click on block editing on okay so on our site home let's click on add block and now let's search for the mentees block you'll see it under m there you see it mentees let's click on it and you'll see immediately this block pops up so let's rename this by clicking on the gear icon and then clicking on configure new mentees block let's give it a suitable name so i'll call this my children i can select where this block needs to appear but i'll leave it as is i'll click on save changes okay so now that's done okay so let's log in as a parent now for our final step i'll show you what the parent will see when they log in to the platform so let's log in as a parent So now the parent logged in. If he goes to site home, you'll see that my, under my children is now Andy as his child. So if he clicks on Andy, now James as the parent can access Andy's uh, profile and see his badges. He can also edit Andy's profile and updating it so now the parent has access to Andy's um, courses so by clicking on the course he can have access to the outline report where all the activities that Andy needs to do um, now the parent will have access to these grades once Andy attempted the the quizzes or the assignments and everything uh, within the course 
The parent will also have access to the grades overview as well as the grades that Andy obtained. Now the parent or the mentor can also see the complete report and see all the activities um, Andy participated in. The parent also has access to the forum posts as well as forum discussions uh, that Andy uh, participated in. In short, this is how to set up a parent role on your platform as well as how to link the parent to the child and what the parent will see uh, on the child's profile. I hope this video was useful. Please like and subscribe as well as hit the bell icon for further videos on my channel.